Sure, go ahead. Yeah. So hello everyone. So this is the last part of the uh, two four uh, session that we are conducting for the D, uh, DSA, which is for uh, frame management using single link circular list. Uh, first, uh, first implementation we will see is uh, using a single link uh, list. Then we'll be using the single link circular list. So let's get started. First, uh, before starting the session, uh, I'll give a brief uh, introduction on the sports or the code that we are going to, or the program that we are going to discuss. So, and uh, which is regarding the virtual memory and the physical memory of the system. So, why do we use a virtual memory? So, let's say there are uh, there are uh, uh, three pro processes that we want to run. Which is, uh, one is a uh, YouTube, uh, other one is a game, and uh, other one is a photo editing software. And we have four gigs of RAM to work with. So the YouTube takes uh, one gig of RAM, the game takes uh, two gigs of RAM. We have used uh, three gigs of RAM and we have one gigs of RAM available to us. And if we want to run the uh, photo editing software, which uh, takes two gigs of RAM, then we won't be able to because it we only have one gigs of RAM available to us. So let's say we uh, clear out the uh, YouTube from our mem our uh, physical memory. Now we have two gigs of RAM uh, free with us, uh, which is equivalent to the one that we need for running the photo editing software. But this is not the case because uh, the two gigs of RAM that we have is uh, in fragments to the physical memory. And, and uh, for running any process, we want a segmented memory and not a fragmented memory. So in the, in this, in this 2 GB of memory is fragmented memory, which is not uh, useful to us for running the uh, program. And for this solution, for solving these kind of issues, uh, we use a virtual memory. The one that we were talking about was uh, physical memory. And now we'll be uh, discussing a bit about uh, virtual memory. So what is virtual memory? It just uh, creates, so each and every process will have its own virtual address space on which uh, the mapping of uh, or use, use, uh, use of uh, the memories of those processes will take place with the physical memory. So you can see the blocks uh, um, blocks um, beside the applications, and, and those are representing the virtual uh, address space. And, that's, and that address space is now being divided into two of the fragmented um, 2 GB memory that we had, and uh, using um, which will be used for uh, running the third a third application that we wanted to run. So a virtual memory is not directly used by the system. It makes use of a page table. So you can see the virtual memory on the very left, uh, which is starting from uh, 0 to 4095, which, uh, which has an equivalent of page 0. So that page 0 will be mapped onto the page table, and that page table will be mapped onto the uh, and that will tell us uh, where in the physical memory the uh, segment uh, that memory location is located. So you can see that page zero uh, is mapped on page three of physical memory. So the page three is uh, sixteen thousand three hundred eighty four to twenty thousand four hundred seventy nine. So that is how the virtual memory uh, is being used with the help of page table in the physical memory. So. So this is another uh, image that uh, uh, represents the uh, using uh, usage of page table with the help of uh, uh, for translation of virtual memory to physical memory. So the way we are going to use is uh, uh, we are going to implement a linked list. So linked list is a good way to manage the frames so that the alloc frame and free frame functions employed uh, linked list to maintain the frames that are available to be allocated. Uh, uh, memory of the pages physical memory and that are ready to be allocated for the process to run. Then we have allocated three frame both pages list remove next and list insert next both, uh, respectively for for the numbers. 
So what does the error frame does? The error frame function retrieves the number of free frame from a list of available frames given a specific page. This number is uh, placed in the page table to indicate in which physical frame the page is to reside. It's talking about this. In the page table, uh, you can see that uh, page zero of virtual memory resides in page three of the physical memory. Then it's a free frame. The free frame function accepts a frame number and places it back into the list of available frames once a page has been removed from physical memory or the page is ready to be uh, used. So, uh, and we are assuming when we are writing the program, uh, discussing the program that before either is, before either the alloc frame or free frame is called, the operating system has inserted into the list all the frames that it wishes to make available. So we are basically assuming that we always have a frame, free frame available to be swapped or replaced or to allocate. So let's get, uh, so let's uh, uh, discuss the program. So this is the, this is the frame storage uh, header file uh, that we, uh, we have made and we'll be using the list dot h that we have uh, uh, discussed before. And now alloc frame, alloc frame uh, uh, will be uh, uh, using the alloc frame and the free frame as used. Next, we have the frames.c program for frames.c program. We have included the necessary header files that we will be using. Uh, we have frames that we just saw, this product that we have been using and the standard lib library. Now, the first is uh, allocating the frame, uh, which in the which uh, this block will be uh, responsible for. Uh, first is the frame number and reading the data, then uh, or saving uh, saving in the data. Then if the uh, if the uh, frame allocation is uh, not successful, it will return minus one. If it is, it will remove it. And if it's not, then it will again uh, for the unsuccessful uh, uh, execution, it will re uh, return minus one. If it does, then uh, and this block is going to um, to get executed and give us the frame number. Now for free frame, it's a uh, this is the initialization of it for reading the data, and the data pointer. Then uh, first it will uh, try to allocate allocate. If it's uh, unsuccessful, then it will it will return the minus one value, and uh, uh, we'll be saving the frame number in the data. And if uh, and then we'll be using the list insert next in uh, for the execution of it. And if the execution is sorry, if the execution is unsuccessful, then we'll return minus one. If it's successful, we'll have the frame number to be used uh, using the free frame function. Now, uh, as uh, I talked about, as I talked about the uh the this very assumption this very assumption that uh, we are all we are assuming that uh, the free alloc frame or free frame will always have the frames to be used but what if the alloc frame function finds out the frame and it does not have the uh, does not have the available frame or uh, frame available to be used so uh, so so uh, for that uh, what the os does basically does is it, it, in a list of frames it starts uh, finding with the help uh, in the logic of a least recently used algorithm which basically means that a current pointer will be assigned where, where where it will start uh, from a list, it will start finding for the available frames which were least recently used. Now, when it starts, so it will be a circular link, a uh, singly linked circular list. So uh, when it will start, uh, start searching the very first page, it will, it will search it, it will flag 
it will be flagged as one or zero. Uh, uh, if it's uh, flagged as zero, then there is, that then that very page will be used for the for replacing uh, for being replaced. If the page if the page is uh, marked as one or uh, is in use, and then it will marked as uh, flagged or uh, flagged as zero, and it will start searching for the available frame whose who has been flagged as zero. So it will start from the very next uh, page and uh, keep on searching. And uh, if it finds the a frame which is flagged, which is which has been flagged as zero, then it will keep the uh, uh, select that very uh, page of frame uh, to be replaced. But if in case it doesn't find, it will uh, traverse back the whole circular list and get back to the very list uh, the, the very first page that it started searching for and as you remember that that was the page that was um, flagged as zero so that very page will be used uh, in case if it doesn't find the and uh, it doesn't find the page in the whole entire list and next time if the page uh, page has to be found again then the element next to the one that was selected will be the starting point of uh, uh, searching the frame. So now let's this is the program. First, it's the first uh, first it's the page uh, that we will be defined in the header file here, yeah. and the replace replace page with these. Uh, with the current as the placeholder for the page. Next, we have this uh, on this program where we have included the needed header files. Then we have the replace page for uh, uh, circling through the entire list until it finds one. Uh, so as I as I said, uh, so the basically the re replace page has to find the one page which has been flagged as zero or which is available to use it will find it and it will return return back uh, the page uh, once the execution has been done uh, once the uh, desired page has been found it will return us back uh, return back the value so so uh, Yeah. So, so this was the these were the management examples that uh, were left to be discussed. So, uh, it were uh, implemented first. Uh, first program was implemented using the singly linked list, and uh, the other one is uh, implemented using singly linked circular list. So, thanks for uh, so these are the references, and uh, uh, thanks for uh, listening.